diet is so dangerous to women, which is what we have here. Over a thousand women are in the room right now. Very large number of you will be or currently are estrogen dominant. You can always tell an estrogen dominant woman because they have large breasts, even as teenagers when they start to develop, even as little girls, they'll have a little breast budding already when they're four, three, four years old. That's from carbs that they're eating. And, and the estrogen dominance makes a lot of problems in their body, but one of the things it does is it raises your serotonin above the normal level. You want serotonin. Too little causes you to be constipated and depressed. Too much causes you to be constipated as well. But also as our serotonin goes up, which happens to women, particularly after menopause, they, don't, they want to stay home. They kind of withdraw from the world more and more. These are, you know, they want to stay home in their pajamas all day and they don't feel like going out. Those are signs of estrogen dominance. And so remember, you're controlling that completely. It's a huge problem too. It's part of the obesity problem is the estrogen dominance. It's in men as well. But we control that completely. Now, this slide I've used in several of my PowerPoint presentations because it's so disturbing to me. But this is the world that our kids are being born in today. Dirty air, dirty water. They're, all of us are exposed to so many toxic genes. All those toxins go through the liver. And the liver has two phases. In the first phase, the, 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 all the toxins, the hormones that are used up, um, all of our neurotransmitters are all going into phase one of the liver. And the liver breaks them apart. And at that stage, they're actually more dangerous than ever. And, and that's OK, because phase two is supposed to come in there and get, glump on the toxins and take them out of the body. But what happens if you've got enzymes? What if you know, um, your genes are expressing enzymes where the phase one doesn't work very well. And this is very, very common. These um, genes that are expressing the enzymes in the liver, they're called CYP P450 enzymes, or cytochrome P450 enzymes. They're very important to check for. And um, this phase two is also can completely controlled by genes. Phase two, you need. Um, this particular slide is showing you the nutrients you need for phase one and phase two to work properly. But the genes have to be working right, too. And many people have variants or SNPs, mutations, where they're not producing enough glutathione. They're not, so phase two isn't working well either. And I wanted to dwell a little bit longer on this because we're always talking about detoxification. Books about detoxification are really hot. But this is an aspect of detoxification that you must understand. Um, this, here's just a perfect example right now, uh, right here, the cytochrome P452 D6. So it's called the CYP2 D6. How many people do you know were on drugs for depression and they drank some alcohol or Something went wrong, and the next thing you heard is they killed themselves last night, or they hung themselves, or it's a, a vet coming back from the war, and he's so depressed from being over there that they put him on a drug, and he, you know, rides his motorcycle off a cliff or hangs himself or shoots himself. So why is this happening? Well, if you test the SNP, I mean, I personally know two people that this happened to. Happy people, life was going fine. They shouldn't have picked up a gun and shot themselves, but they did, young, young people. And why did they do this? Because they were put on Paxil. And with Paxil, um, their, the blood levels are get too high, and it affects their, impair, you know, their judgment is impaired. Their thinking isn't right. And they pick up that gun and they blow their brain out. So this is an example of how important it is to know if you have this SNP right there, or if you're a medical doctor and you're prescribing drugs, or you, you, want, you feel like you need an antidepressant, don't go there. Or at least don't go there until you've had your genes tested. Now, the most cleansing foods of all are fermented foods. And so for people with, this, with these variations of their phase one and phase two, the answer is fermented foods. 